Geek Heroes, what do you see, what do you know? Hey, today's episode is the new Quick Lock 3 tier stand. Alright, I recently got this stand from a friend. Um, he bought these, he bought two of these uh, a couple of years ago. And um, how I got this one was he had a two tier stand that he was throwing out. And I repaired it and completely refurbished it. And uh, when he seen what I wanted, uh, what I did to it, he wanted it back. And he told me, um, he says, hey, man, uh, I love what you did. If you give me my old stand back, I'll give you this three-tier in place of it. Which I needed a three-tier because the other stand was a two-tier. And uh, I'd like to have, I needed a three-tier just to have in my man cave. So when I have band practice... I'm going to have to drag my other stand in. All right. Now, with, anyway, I'm digressing. But anyway, so I my original stand I bought in 91, I believe. And it's a quick, quick lock three tier. And the stand's perfect. Even though it's like over 30 years old, the thing, there's nothing wrong with it. And it's sturdy from it was from the day one. All right. This new stand is a piece of crap. I cannot believe why they would take something that was really good and turn it into a total piece of crap. Now, right now, all three boards are on it, but watch this. Let's see. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. All right? You won't believe this. Look. Can you guys see that? Look how much. That is, like, actually moving, like, three inches. All right, and look, the sideways wobble too. And it all stems down to this piece down here. You know, the, your main swing arm. And uh, look, it's crap. Look at that. That's like ridiculous. So, um, well, what I'm going to do is uh, my next gig is uh, May 6th. All right, so when I take my toys down to go play, then I'm going to drag this stand out into the garage, and I'm going to keeferize it. And I have a couple ideas how I can stop it from being being crap. And uh, But um, also, when uh, my buddy bought these stands, he got them off of Amazon for 149 each. All right, I see the same stand is now for sale for 379 so they're um um they jacked up the price but never repaired the problem with now remember i said he bought two of them both stands are doing the same thing also i have a buddy who's down in florida he bought one of these and same exact thing wobbling and uh, uh unbelievable and uh so i mean stupid ass engineers that's why i want to punch an engineer in the face and, uh, I mean, why would you take something good and turn it into crap? It's like the story of today, man. I, it's just unbelievable. But anyway, uh, when I keep a rise of stand, and hopefully I'll be able to improve on this thing so it won't be Mr. Wobbles, um, I'll post that video. I don't know if any of you guys have this stand. It is a quick lock. All right, that's what it is. And uh, so luckily, this is just for, this is my rehearsal stand. So I really don't mind it uh, wobbling so much here. On the gig, I would definitely wobble. So, but anyway, I'm rambling. So, hey, catch you guys later. God bless.